Since Russia's invasion in 2014, Ukraine's military has transformed from an underfunded and ill-equipped service into a modern, powerful fighting force. With over 200,000 military personnel and millions of dollars in investment, Ukraine now has one of Europe's largest armies. History, hardware and heroism. Welcome to Ukraine in uniform. Efficiency, professionalism, risk and endurance. These guys are able to perform sophisticated tasks such as releasing hostages, detention of dangerous criminals and so on. They are the fighters of the Special Ops Unit, CORD. Today's program is about them. There are several special ops units in Ukraine, but the best of the fighters serve in Cord. And everyone who wants to serve in this unit should be ready to go. And everyone who wants to serve in this unit should be ready to go through a rigorous selection process. After all, a Cord fighter is a unique individual. Recruits join the unit because they love their country and are ready to make the ultimate sacrifice in order to defend it. Almost every recruit is smart, dependable and physically capable. These people must use critical thinking in stressful combat situations. A person makes the decision they are ready to learn, practice and be willing to die for their country, no matter how odd that may sound to some. The rigorous selection of candidates is not the only requirement of the Ministry of Internal Affairs. Court should also replace disbanded special ops units. CORD is the only unit in Ukraine created in accordance with the standards of foreign special ops units. A joint project of creation and development of a special ops police unit was agreed by the heads of the Ministry of Internal Affairs and the National Police of Ukraine, together with representatives of US law enforcement. In this project, court fighters should be trained in accordance with international standards. I should say that earlier there was never such a rigorous selection of candidates. In order to prepare the special ops fighters for duty, there should be highly skilled instructors. Special police service instructors have been selected from the best fighters of the former Interior Ministry Special Forces units. They went through a multi-stage professional selection process and later received the relevant certificates, giving them the right to carry out the professional selection of candidates for the court special police force. The general selection criteria are based on the Cooper test, which special divisions around the world have to pass. Then there is the firing range test. Only after they have passed those two tests, they are allowed to take the five-day survival course. All those who successfully passed the physical, psychological and weapons training tests are enrolled into the CORD Candidate Reserve. Stress resistance, communication skills and teamwork skills are a criteria on which we rely when we are selecting candidates for service in CORD которая нам помогала в подборе. Мы определили для себя такие критерии, как коммуникабельность, умение работать в команде. Это командная работа. Also, the candidates should be able to analyze their moral and physical condition and clearly assess a situation to perform their tasks successfully. So these criteria are the basis of rigorous selection. Then the candidates undergo a five-day survival course, after which it will become clear who will serve in the special ops units. 
Самый тяжелый тест был пятидневка, как мне показалось. A five-day survival course is the hardest test for candidates. Такой компонент психологический, психологически очень важный. Может быть, где-то не дотягивал стрельбу. During the five-day survival course, we supported those guys who truly demonstrated a strong desire to protect not only the people of Ukraine, but also the country as a whole. таким образом в этой команде то включала сильная мотивация, и мы на это обращали внимание и поддерживали. A lot of candidates are not able to pass this stage of the selection process. На этом курсе очень большой процент людей. About 40% of all candidates are not able to pass the five-day survival course. A special operations soldier should be able to overcome a 50-kilometer forced march, barriers and lots of various obstacles wearing full gear. The task performance depends on a candidate's readiness and desire to serve in this special forces unit. Our guys have a higher qualification than soldiers of other units. A perfect special forces soldier is the one who is ready to make decisions in critical situations and think fast. He who is developed physically and mentally is the highest skilled at using firearms. The ability to work in a team and independently make decisions in extreme situations are important qualities of a good soldier. The most difficult part of this process is earning the confidence of the team so that you are accepted into it. The team feels your every vibe. It is programmed to do this. If an individual is not of that caliber, it is immediately detected. These guys shoot, run and jump from dizzying heights, and they can sense those who do not want to be part of the team. It's about interaction and emotional tension. This is critical. All those who have passed the five-day survival course enter a two-month training and instruction course. We select the best of the best. There are a lot of good fighters who have served in different specialized military units, but we try to create a strong special ops unit in the police force that will function as a solid unified team to execute one tactic regardless of whatever region it is in. It will be one unified subdivision like a huge family whose members understand one another down to the last word. For the first time, the Universal School of Special Police Forces was established in Ukraine. The fighters learn single action tactics, firing techniques, martial arts, hand-to-hand -hand combat with knives, and how to render emergency medical care in extreme situations. This training program is unique in the world because it takes into account experience from the armed conflict in the eastern part of the country, as well as many other important factors. We learn from the experience of foreign police special units and apply it to improve our training program if there are issues concerning firearms. They are addressed in our subdivision. Every country has its own laws. Citizens live in their own way, while the police have their reproach. We select the best and aspire to create a model for other countries, and that is called. Psychological training is no less important than its physical analogue. Самое главное – это развитие стрессоустойчивости. Наши бойцы сталкиваются каждый день со стрессами. Our first priority in training is developing stress resistance in our fighters and teaching them how to overcome it, because they face new stress situations every day. The next training involves teaching fighters how to communicate not only with each other, but also with others, in order to be able to resolve conflicts. 
то для того, чтобы они решались, их нужно уметь. We also teach our guys how to behave in a team environment, because the team must be one whole big family. Потому что это такое подразделение, где мы должны быть одной семьей. But the final selection process has not ended. This does not mean that all those who have passed the previous selection stages will be accepted to serve in court. The next stage of the rigorous selection is instruction, during which the candidates gain knowledge needed to perform all the required tasks. All the exercises at the core training center include firefighting and engineering training, tactical medicine and many other skills that every fighter of a police special forces unit should master. The main thing is that all exercises are learned at the core training center, simulate real combat conditions. We constantly improve our training program, analyze operations or training sessions that we and other subdivisions conducted, constantly developing and constantly moving forward. This is the key to achieving high performance results. But the main attention in the preparation of special police units is paid to teamwork. We insist in these guys a sense of brotherhood and mutual support and understanding. There isn't always an opportunity to give a command or a signal. Members of a group must understand each other, their every gesture, glance and word, and act accordingly in a given situation. The situation is constantly changing and this requires rapid response. Mutual trust is a very important aspect for such a special unit as CORD. Individually, we are all strong and healthy, but when you work in a team of 5, 10 or even 20 guys, you depend on one and every one of them. If you are one, you are on your own and you do your job and leave. But when there is a unit of 20 to 30 fighters, each one is personally responsible for themselves and the team. The slightest mistake of a single soldier affects the entire team, so working only as a team is the only way to work. As it turned out, the previous tests were not the most difficult. The two-month course identifies all the potential capacities of all candidates. The two-month course is a very serious stage in the selection process, and guys who can't work in a team don't pass this test. Only the best candidates who demonstrate good results advance to the next stage of selection. So the best of the best are left, and they produce sufficiently high-performance results. Fighter of the Corps Special Police Force Unit must endure all the difficulties. Универсальный боец, боец это, конечно, философия, но то, что здесь. A universal soldier should be prepared on all fronts. That is, he must possess all the skills required to perform specific tasks. Ему поможет выполнять те специальные задачи, на которые рассчитано это подразделение. Задачи специфические, специальные полицейские операции. The servicemen featured in this program all have one common trait to protect Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. It is these people who take up arms and risk their lives to defend Europe's eastern border from any major attacks so that Ukraine is not turned into a massive training ground in the future.